What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W, and I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. This time we're talking the top three fantasy options when it comes to the Buffalo Bills. And when it comes to the Buffalo Bills, we can't talk about 2022 without the man the guy at the quarterback position, that's Josh Allen, who if you want Josh Allen, you're going to have to go out and spend in him on your fantasy drafts and in best ball leagues. We've seen him go right around the top 30 pick. Um, So, you know, really that first quarterback off of the board. And you can see why when, you know, amazing career that this guy has when he came into the league wasn't very accurate. And and maybe it's because passing game uh, Ken Dorsey, who's now the offensive coordinator, had something to do with it from 2019 uh, to 2021. We've seen an increase uh, output from Josh Allen, just the efficiency metrics a little bit better. This guy is just absolutely crushing it when it comes to passing game, rushing the ball. You're looking at 31 rushing touchdowns um, with this guy. He had eight or more in his first three seasons in the league. That came down a little bit in 2022, and maybe they don't rush him as much, but still, the passing upside is there, and all the weapons that are around him this year, you can see why he's the favorite on the FanDuel Sportsbook at 7-1 to one to win MVP as it currently stands. Let's talk about the running back, Devin Singletary. And I talked about Josh Allen's rushing numbers going down slightly a little bit. Now, the the yards have still been there, but maybe the touchdowns can start coming to some of these running backs. And enter in Devin Singletary, who was the RB18 in PPR formats last year. But you look at the last four weeks of the season, this guy was RB1. And that could allude to the fact that he scored six touchdowns, uh, was, was hyper-efficient with his touches, carried the ball for around 350 rushing yards over that span. And you could just see, even leading into the postseason, they made an, they made an effort to get Devin Singletary involved. Now, I get it. They spent a second-round pick on James Cook. That doesn't, maybe that doesn't bode well for you thinking about what his upside could be. But, you know, backfields, we love to target backfields that are in explosive offenses. And if Devin Singletary is going to be the guy, the main guy on the field, we have to love him for this year. He offers that pass-catching upside when you're looking at 50-plus targets the past two seasons. I want to take a chance on Devin Singletary on my teams in 2022. And last but not least, we got to talk about Stefan Diggs. And if we love Josh Allen, we got to talk about his main target, the alpha. Listen, everybody's in love with Gabriel Davis right now. And he's the he's the talk. But let's not forget about Stefan Diggs, who is going as the wide receiver four, wide receiver five, depending on where you're drafting right now. But he has the chance to be the wide receiver one. I mean, the metrics are just off the charts when you're looking at him second in air yards to Justin Jefferson last year. The connections just weren't falling for them for him and Josh Allen. We saw a 13 percent decrease and Stefan Diggs' catch rate, um, which, you know, could could be a little bit worrisome, but the volume was still there, still seeing around 160 targets. This guy has been the number one wide receiver target um, in all of NFL since joining the Buffalo Bills. So we absolutely love that. Had a career high in touchdowns last year at 10. I think he's poised to repeat success um, over these past two years, and I think he'll be heavily involved, and I love getting him as a wide receiver one in my on my fantasy teams this year. Guys, that's going to do it for the FanDuel Hurry Up. Let me know who your top three options for the Buffalo Bills are, and I'll catch you guys next time on the Hurry Up. Until then, peace.